Welcome back on Cosmetologist On Demand. I know that right now beauticians and hairdressers are probably closed uh, due to the situation we have in the world. So I'm Cosmetologist On Demand and I've been working in my profession uh, for 10 years now and I really feel that uh, you can benefit from what I know, what I learned and what I was providing for my customers and I want to do that for you from home. Uh, so today we will be doing eyebrows. Uh, I know that this is aesthetic factor of every woman to have nicely shaped eyebrows and uh, I encourage you to just grab a pincet and uh, let's get started to shape our lines of our faces together. So before we will start doing actually the, the treatment, uh, what you have to make sure is that your hair are not in your way. So I will do it right now with my hair. It doesn't matter how you will do it, it's just uh, about making sure that your eyebrows are very visible for you and you don't have additional hair that you might uh, take away with your pen set. Uh, so the rules. Rules uh, are simple. You all have also have to have a mirror. Uh, you can just stand in front of a big mirror and have good lightning. Uh, I recommend you to buy something like this. This is a mirror that has uh, LED lamps. Uh, it's uh, really cool. You can do makeup, you can do a lot of things uh, in front of that mirror and uh, uh, it was not that expensive. Uh, I don't remember what is the name. It's probably some product from you know China, AliExpress, Wish, whatever you can find it uh, everywhere. Just uh, makeup. You can Google makeup mirror with uh, with LED lamps, and uh, you will have it. Maybe it's like 15 euro or so. So uh, you need to have a light. You need to have mirror. You need to have a pen set. Pen set is very important and uh, this is uh, something that I would rather invest um, I have HR professional um, those I bought uh, when uh, I was uh, supplying my uh, spa mm, and um, the, what, what, what is the rule with the pencil is that it has to be sharp and uh, the kind of the, the top uh, parts of the pencil they need to stick together perfectly Okay. All I wanna be is all you need. And also, uh, edges need to be sharp. You need to feel that they are sharp, uh, because we want to get really deep into the skin and take even those small hair uh, from our uh, eyebrows areas. Okay. So we have a pencil, we have a light, we have a mirror. Uh, now the rules about the eyebrows. So the the highest part of your eyebrow, the, the, the moment where the eyebrow is kind of leaning down, uh, sh should be kind of behind on the outside part of your pupil. So you have a pupil and then maybe half a centimeter on the outside part you should have the top part of your eyebrow. This is where uh, you want to kind of trim and regulate it up here to create this leaning on the side. And also very important rule that uh, the, the beginning of the eyebrow should have an angle uh, with your, with your um, inner part of your eye. It should not be straight, so you should not kind of have the eyebrow here. And also it should be angle on the other side, so it should not be too short, right? It should expand your eyes, make them bigger, make them, you know, more open. So, normally, if you would expand your lower eyelid and draw with eyeliner uh, a line, it should kind of go to the direction where the eyebrow should uh, end. So, if I would put this line a bit further, it would end here. And this is also where my eyebrow is ending. 
Um, so those are the most important rules. Of course, uh, the middle part should be thicker than the outer part and the shapes that we should avoid uh, is the Mickey Mouse. So basically just, you know, half of the circle. This is uh, something that will make our uh, face sad. Uh, simple as that and also try to avoid very sharp edges so if you will go down and make the leaning try to not make this angle because it will make your face angry and this is also something we should avoid so make sure that the lines um, on your eyebrows are smooth you know they are um, representing your natural emotions uh, in your face so you don't have to add any sadness you don't have to add any anger they should just you know perfectly represent beauty of you so um, when you start to regulate your eyebrows you need to make sure that you stretch the skin on the uh, on the upper lid and uh, why because it will be less painful there are not many theories to that uh, it's just when the skin is uh, tense and it's stretch, you know, the, the pores and the, the, the skin um, layers are a bit opening so it's much easier to pull out the hair uh, with the root which is normally much bigger than the hair as you can see sometimes. So try to stretch it but in, in the local uh, moment so don't try to you know pull your eyebrow eyebrows and eyelids into a different direction make sure that you do it kind of on a centimeter uh, space rather than you know uh, make big stretches because if you will be doing it all the time uh, of course with the age you will um, stretch your skin uh, and create more wrinkles of course we want to avoid that so be careful with stretching so make sure that you have clean hands as well um, of course from a, a not only aesthetic and hygienic factor but uh, your uh, hands normally produce um, a sweat with, through your glands and also you have additional uh, sebum, some, some oil, a natural oil uh, on your palms so just to make sure that you're not sliding on the eyebrow uh, please clean them with uh, normal soap you can also, uh, if you want, uh, spray, you know, hygienic uh, disinfection spray, uh, if you really have that need. So, uh, I recommend you to start from the external part, so from the outside of the eyebrow. And I will zoom my camera now to make sure that you can see everything close. How so you're going to pull your eyebrows, you're not going to do it 90 degrees sharp, you want to do it like 30, 45 degrees towards the skin. So I'll do my stretch here. And I will be putting my right hand side in a constant motion. It comes with, you know, with practice, so you don't have to do it like this from beginning, but... Uh, and you can also have some... Um, you can also have some brush to just take those uh, hair out. But um, from, for beginners, I recommend you to just stretch your skin, right? And then hair by hair. And if it's difficult for you to create, a, you can see already, you know, small difference how they how they look like. Uh, if it's if it's difficult for you to create a shape, um, I recommend you to before starting a regulation with the pen set, uh, you draw the shape that uh, you want to have. So if I'm unexperienced and I want to create the shape, I'm taking a pencil, eyebrow pencil, and I'm drawing first a strong line on the bottom of the eyebrow. So this is this is my frame of work. Those are my work frames. And exactly. And you can do it from the top as well. So you will see how the eyebrows right should look like 
after I drew my eyebrow with this pencil, uh, I'm coming back to regulation. So I'm stretching and regulating. You can push the pencil towards your skin so you feel how it goes. You have full control of the movement. So as you see, I'm just closing it and moving, closing and moving and closing and moving and squeezing and moving so it's picking. When you are close to the line you can slow down, you can slow down to make sure that you are picking right hair. Okay, I know that many people are very sensitive for, for uh, eyebrow regulation and some of them are crying, some of them are sneezing because it's uncontrollable syndrome uh, of sneezing. I had so many customers uh, uh, sneezing during during the treatment. I wonder, uh, do you have any uh, any reaction? Uh, please uh, put down in the comment if you are sneezing or crying or if you are swollen. Um, that's uh, really interesting to see how uh, you know women react uh, on this uh, common treatment. Okay, the middle part is also easy. You just uh, stretch the surface between the eyebrows. So I'm doing this move. If you protect the beginning of two eyebrows, then you can really go crazy here. And again, 45 degrees. Where when I was learning it in, in university and uh, during cosmetology, you know. It was not so easy as it looks like. I mean, I was going so close to the mirror that I was hitting with a pencil the mirror. <laughs> it's uh, it's a long journey before you get to to the point where it's just you know a few moments. Like normally, I do my eyebrows three minutes. So don't worry if it takes you 25 minutes, 30 minutes. It's okay. If you would go to the beautician, you also have to travel there. So probably you're saving your time doing it by yourself. So uh, take uh, one of those uh, brushes uh, that are sometimes adjusted to eyebrow pencils or you can, uh, this is cool uh, trick, you can clean your um, old mascara brush and just save it for yourself and uh, use it for brushing your eyebrows. I did it plenty of times. Uh, so you're just um, brushing and counting eyebrows up to make sure that you have this opening eye shape. Okie dokie. So about the coloring, of course you can do uh, henna. Uh, henna is um, a product that I don't know how this in English. I think it's henna. Basically, it's a it's a product that is done from the root of uh, Lafsonia. It's a, it's a flower uh, that has a, a lot of color in the roots, uh, and it's a powder that you mix with um, uh, dioxide water and. Um, and uh, you basically it's making a color on your eyebrows. I can, uh, if you want to see that treatment, I can also make a video about that. Just put uh, some uh, comments uh, down below about that. Uh, but I also want to show you what you can use uh, to color them. So there are quite many pencils available on the market. Uh, I'm using one from Rimmel with this brush. It's really cool because I have a blonde natural hair. I mean, this is not natural. It, of course, uh, I'm doing some colorization as well, but my natural color is blonde um, with different shade. Uh, so I recommend for blonde uh, women the pencil that goes between brown and gray. Uh, so this creates more natural look of your eyebrows. Uh, you can also use uh, brown uh, pencils. Uh, it's more for women with more exotic and brown, uh, brown um, um, hair. And uh, this is actually super good brush uh, uh, on Asia. Um, it's very, very slim and you can draw the line perfectly. In my next uh, video on this channel, I'll be doing some a big giveaway. Uh, from cosmetics from Asia. Uh, actually, I brought uh, all of them to show you. 
so there will be eyeshadows, uh, organic shampoo with, uh, with uh, lime leaf oil, uh, some good uh, facial masks, some highlighters, uh, some beautiful soap. So uh, on the next video you can win all the box and also the eyebrow pencil in it. Uh, and uh, if we we'll move from eye pencils, you can also use some um, shadow uh, brow kits uh, or just uh, shadows for brow brows. Uh, I like this Wet n Wild um, Beauty Benefit uh, Effortless Eyes. Uh, it's really nice palette with a lot of different shades. I can also show you um, this Storm palette from Sleek that has very, very nice, those two uh, eyeshadows that will also work well on, on uh, eyebrows. Uh, and it's not that expensive. From um, more expensive and uh, also very famous uh, palette, I want to show you um, this one. Uh, and the matte colors that you can see, Juanita, uh, Destino, um, they will go really nicely, uh, Amoretto, Am Amorcito, uh, they will also go really nicely on uh, eyebrows, this is the Lolita Por Vida eyeshadow palette. Uh, and regarding eye and regarding brushes, uh, it doesn't matter which brand you will use, it can be uh, MAC, something bigger for this part, but you can also go with some no-name brands, it's just important that those will be thin and you will be able to control the eyeshadow, the, the pigmentation. You can also go with something very, very slim, this is from Bella Pierre, uh, you can also go with something like this. Thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumb up if you managed to go to the end of the video. Uh, also, if you want to subscribe to my channel and uh, you need some help, I'm a cosmetologist and I'm very happy to help you to make sure that you feel and look good during the situation we have in the world right now. So, thank you for watching and see you next video. Bye! Much more to see mm.